Welcome back to the Path of Exile 319 Lake of Calandra spoiler season, where today I'm going to be talking about the new divination card Doriani's Epiphany. The reason that I waited on this is originally I wasn't going to talk about it as by itself a divination card isn't quite video worthy. However, I then found that there's a little bit more of a story behind the div card which was shared by the original creator over on Reddit. So I've decided to make a dedicated video talking about the card and also sharing the story behind it. Doriani's Epiphany is a divination card that will give you three regrading lenses. This can either be three prime or three secondary regrading lenses. Prime is used on active skill gems and secondary is used on support gems. A regrading lens is used to shift the quality of your gem. By default, all gems are of superior quality. They can also be anomalous, divergent, or phantasmal. And each of these have their own different weights. So for example, let's use cremation. By default, a superior quality cremation has 0 to 20% increased fire damage. But then there's also anomalous, divergent, and of course, and of course, the valuable phantasmal. At least valuable currently. I don't know about in 319. So if you want yourself a phantasmal cremation, you could try using a regrading lens on a superior cremation. This will mean that you have a chance to roll anomalous with a 100 weighting, divergent with 50, and phantasmal with 10. The end result of this is that you have a 1 in 16 of hitting Phantasmal, since it's a weighting of 10 and the total weighting is 160. In other words, you'd actually want to roll on an Anomalous with the Regrading Lens, because then the options are Superior, which is 50, Divergent, which is 50, and Phantasmal, which is 10. Your odds go from 1 in 16 to 1 in 11. Alt Quality Gems are very powerful and used in a lot of builds these days. They range from the build enabling to the nice to have but absolutely not mandatory. And there's also a lot of very cool effects that can only be found via alt quality gems. So seeing this get added is pretty neat. You currently get them from Heist with gem blueprints. I'm going to guess that Doriani's Epiphany will not be dropping in Heist, because usually the way these divination cards work is they provide a source that is separate from the original. So if the original source is Heist, this is more likely to drop somewhere else. A perfect example of this is how Synthesis maps come from a divination card that's dropped by the Conquerors. It's related, you're still doing bossing, and so who knows, maybe it's in Delve. But if you have any guesses as to where Doriani's Epiphany will drop, put them down in the comments. But now that you know the basics of how regrading lenses work and the divination card itself, let's look at the story behind it. It was added by Kelzer, or Kelzier, I'm not quite sure. Feel free to correct me down in the comments. They say that they've loved Heist from the beginning, it had its problems, definitely, and it's one of their favorite mechanics. Personally, I kind of never forgave Heist for its problems. I wanted to like it, and I still just don't. They originally wanted to make a card for replica uniques, but someone beat them to it with the Forward Gaze. They actually say that originally they wanted to do a 6-link, six 6-white six Death Soath, but apparently that's against the rules for divination cards, which is interesting because I didn't know what rules div cards do and don't have. So they went with alt quality gems. Which one? All of them. And all of them in a way that's much more controllable. Which makes a lot of sense when you look at the next paragraph and see that they're an SSF player. Having random gems is still somewhat useful in trade, such as the Dying Anguish card, but in SSF it's a lot more valuable to collect a set of things that you can then turn in to try to get the gem that you want. Arguably, even in trade, it's better to do it this way, so I very much approve. They then go on to say that they play SSF or group found with some friends, so they wanted so right now they have pretty poor access to specific alt quality gems. And that's true, they're very random right now, and there are a lot of gems. Best case is spam heist until you get a lens, and then YOLO, and then rage krangle when it misses. Yep, been there, done that well, minus the spamming heist, but I've definitely used some lenses and then rage krangled things. Some people are excited to skip heist, agreed, I'm one of them, and still get the benefits by buying it, yep. And they're talking about, they think that that's part of a point of this card, but don't know for sure because the drop location is not confirmed. I also think this is going to be part of a card. And then they go on to the lore and the flavor text, which I'm not really a POE lore expert. I don't know that much, but I know a little bit. Like, I didn't know what a synthetic virtue gem was. It is cool to know, though, that the alt quality gems were made by Doriani, and I have absolutely no idea how they got in Heist. I would assume that they were stolen, and so we're not really stealing. We're just bringing them back to where they belong, the hands of a people, like Chittis would have wanted. And now I feel like all the lore nerds are mad at me because I said something horribly wrong. But I'm gonna just go with it. Finally, they talk about the flavor text. And they originally put something akin to check it again. Because there's that idea, which 
makes me think they're a coder of, I made this exactly the same as the other gem, and then all of a sudden it's super different, don't question science. Just like how sometimes you will run code and it won't work, and then you'll run code again and it will work. And I'm not even a coder, and even I know this. And what GGG ended up going with is, virtue gems have facets beyond those that can be seen by the mortal eye. Let us look deeper. I guess luckily exiles aren't exactly mortal. But hopefully you've enjoyed this look at Doriani's epiphany and the story behind it. If you have any guesses as to where it'll drop, let me know down in the comments below. A special thanks to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Your support helps keep me independent and allows me to turn down things like sketchy mobile game sponsorships. You can do so for as low as $1 a month over on Patreon. Or if you want to support me completely for free, then you can join the community by hopping into my Discord, link below. If you want more content, check out my second channel, 10 Gaming Thoughts. It's a place that I use to review games, ramble my way through video essays, and a lot more. Or of course, you can just click the suggested video in the card right now. I hope you learned something today, and maybe I'll see you again sometime soon.